Hello and welcome to Feeding on Jesus International, where we believe that through the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can feed and nourish the hungry. I test. John chapter 19 verse 28. Beloved, here Jesus was answering the Messianic prophecy from Psalm 69 verse 21. The hours Jesus spent in the sun, coupled with his physical pain, would have created mild if not severe dehydration. Jesus speaks of his test out of natural human need for sustenance and relief. Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 29 and 30 read, In those days, people will no longer say, The parents have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Instead, everyone would die for their sin. Whoever eats sour grapes, their teeth will be set on edge. Beloved, sour wine is sour grapes because wine is pressed grapes. So, sour grapes represent the fathers or forefathers' sins. They filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hip soap, and they put it in Jesus' mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, Jesus received the consequence and the curse that belonged to the children because of their father's sins and their forefathers' sins. Jesus took it upon himself so that he tested for your freedom. Jesus tested that you might be delivered from your fathers, your forefathers, and all your forefathers that ever lived that their sins will never, ever come on you. The curse will not come on you. And the medical record will show you are not suffering what your father suffered. Jesus tested for your freedom. Jesus received the sour wine and he said, It is finished. Jesus fulfilled all scripture. And it is fair to say that the last thing he fulfilled was our deliverance from generational case. Amen. Remain blessed. Share this video and bless the soul. Happy Easter in advance.